In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export an animation sequence of images. Generally, when you render in a 3D modeling program, you export a series of images that you then stitch together in a 3D modeling program. Here I have an animation that I want to export. It has lots of features that are happening and different chaotic elements, and I want to export this as a rendered scene that I can then use in my video editor. In order to do that, I need to set up a few parameters inside of Blender. The first thing to do is to click on the Render tab and choose whether you're going to use Cycles or Eevee. If I look here, I can select Eevee or Cycles. If you're using Cycles, you can choose whether you're going to use CPU or GPU compute. Often, with using Cycles, it is a good idea to limit the time that each frame can render. Anywhere from 2 to 10 seconds generally gives pretty good re results. Note that denoise for the viewport is different than denoise for the actual render. Make sure you choose each one appropriately. Then, click on the Printer tab. This is the Output tab in Blender. We need to choose a few options here. First is the frame rate. We can choose 24 frames per second, but in this case, I'm using 30, so I'll select 30. Then we need the frame range. By default, Blender uses a frame range of 1 to 250. My animation is 900 frames long, and I want to render the entire animation. You can also change the frequency of the frames. So for example, you could render every 5 frames or something like that. But for now, I'll leave it at 1. Next, we need to look at the output. By default, Blender saves the output in this TMP directory. This is fine for temporary files, but it's often difficult to locate. So you can choose a different location by clicking this folder. Here, I've selected a folder on my desktop in Animations and labeled the folder Animation Frames. If I click Accept, I can now see that folder here for the output. This is important because Blender will make a large series of images that will be contained in a single folder rather than scattered around other folders. Then for the file format, by default, Blender uses RGBA, but we don't need this alpha channel unless you're using a transparent background. So we can click RGB. And then finally, up at the top of the screen, we'll click Render, Render Animation. And that's it. It starts rendering. Happy 3D modeling.